What is up, friends? Good morning and greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic and pharmaceut- toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we're here every day on The Bright Side, to help clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 28 years of practice, pharmacy. I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It's designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to get off your medications, help a loved one get off their medications, family member, friend get off their meds, and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. We welcome your calls. 855-660-4261 is our call-in number. If you have a success story you'd like to share, we'd love hearing those. If you want to contribute to the conversation, if you have questions about the longevity products or formulations, ingredients, we're here for you. 855-660-4261 is our bright side call-in phone number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products that you hear advertised on the Bright Side, you can head over to brightsideben.com, take a look at our shopping cart. We have all the products up, including the Beyond Organic products from Jordan Rubin, the Swear V, and the Probiotic Rich Cheese, the uh, Amasai Kefir kefir product in various flavors. I've been sipping on my Amasai now, a raspberry flavor. I'm looking forward to the plain Amasai. The raspberry is a little bit sweet, but uh, very, very tasty stuff. It's got protein and probiotics and calcium and absorbable minerals. You can find out all about it at brightsideben.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $10 fee. You can start yourself a longevity business, enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business. Be your own boss. Make your own money. Help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Right off your home office, right off your sample products, right off your mileage. And help spread the word about how important a good nutritional supplement program can be. You can find out all about it by calling the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or clicking on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com. Also want to remind you to check out my blog, pharmacistben.com. We update that regularly with news stories as well as blog posts. And if you're interested in partaking, enjoying some of the videos that we're doing, my friend Amanda Rideout and I are doing skincare videos, uh, skin health videos. We're doing them once a week, once or twice a week. If you're interested in getting on the list for uh, f- the email list, we'll send you out notices when we, when we post new videos. You can send me an email, ben at ksco.com, and we'll get you on the list. Okay, thanks so much for joining us once again on the Bright Side. Our number is 855-660-4261. We'll get to your calls here in the bottom of the hour. Last we spoke, we were talking about the phenomena of generalized pain, diffuse, non-local pain that occurs all over the body. Nothing will frustrate a patient or a, nothing's going to confuse a, a dim-witted medical professional more than the manifestation of diffuse symptoms, symptomology that occurs throughout the body. You'll probably end up with a diagnosis of, you know what, sounds psychosomatic to me. Sounds like you're depressed. You know, if you go into a doctor with these these symptoms of just achiness and diffuse muscle pain all over your body, one of the major prescriptions you're one of one of the major remedies or treatments you're going to get is a prescription for Prozac because the doctor will think that you're a little nutso. 
That's the way medical professionals look at these diffuse kinds of symptomologies. These diffuse symptoms that occur all over the body expose the flaw in the medical model that postulates that you treat the complaint and not the cause. That's some medicine works. It treats the symptom. It can't get to the cause. It doesn't even know about causes, really. So it treats symptomology. How can you? How are you supposed to, if you're a medical professional, how are you supposed to treat diffuse symptomology like achiness and pain that occurs from head to toe. You can't. There's nothing medicine can do at this muscle fiber pain level because at this level of pain, you're looking at the end result. The problem's already occurred. The damage has already happened. The train has already left the station. The horse is already out of the barn. Nothing exposes the silliness and the impotence and the uselessness of the standard modern medical model for treating degenerative disease. Nothing exposes this more than their failure to deal with these kinds of diffuse health issues. Fibromyalgia, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, kidney and liver disease. If you go to the doctor and he gives you a diagnosis of fibromyalgia, you say, Doc, I'm just achy. I just got pain all over. I just don't feel good. So a doctor go, oh, okay, well, let's see. It sounds like fibromyalgia to me, which of course means muscle pain, muscle fiber pain. All you're going to get is, is Motrin or Naproxen, an anti-inflammatory of some kind, or maybe prednisone, steroid drug, or Prozac, or an antidepressant, the premise being that your depression is causing your pain, that it's psychosomatic, that it's all in your head. And none of this is going to make a wits bit of difference for your problem, except for it's going to put an added load on your already stressed out, toxed out detoxification system, including your liver, which is what we've been talking about here. Now there's another burden for your liver to have to deal with. This is the sneaky little t uh, side effect, uh, 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 the uh, adverse effect of prescription drugs that doesn't show up on the package insert. When you take a prescription drug, you're going to have a guarantee. There's going to be all kinds of potential side effects, but what you're not going to know and what's not going to get addressed is you've got another burden for your detoxification system to have to deal with as if it's not already on complete overload form from years, many times, of digestive abuse, toxic abuse, blood sugar abuse, wrong fat abuse, processed food abuse. And that's all the bad news. Okay? That's the bad news. But this is the name of this program is The Bright Side, so there's good news. And the good news is... Once we start to address what's really happening here in the digestive system, you can turn your fibromyalgia around really quickly. Within 24 hours, you can begin to turn it around. And not just fibromyalgia. Once we address the cause, once we remove the toxicity, once we add in the nutrients, the raw materials that the body has to do, needs to, to do its work, has to have to do its work, the turnaround happens. Listen, it happens instantly instantaneously now and I'm not saying you're gonna feel a hundred like a million bucks instantaneously but the turnaround will begin instantaneously this is so cool without a doctor you'll never have to walk into the doctor's office sit in the waiting room fill out forms wait in line at the at the pharmacy take prescription drugs spend your hard-earned money on insurance programs and pharmaceuticals and doctor's bills and devices etc etc the good news is is we can turn it around really quickly, even just hitting the reset button with a fast. Don't eat for one day. You have an autoimmune disease, you have multiple sclerosis, you have fibromyalgia, spend one day without eating. That's all. One day without eating. Hit the reset button. That's what I call it. Hitting the reset button. Just spending one day on a fast, hit the reset button, and you'll make a huge difference. You'll notice a huge difference in 24 hours. Are you going to be completely healed? Maybe not. Probably not. Because for most of us, we've got decades of abuse that we're trying to deal with here. But you will feel better immediately. The turnaround process will occur immediately. And then certainly staying away from problem foods, foods that cause digestive distress, big if you have fibromyalgia, staying away from, from foods that cause bloating or cause gas or cause bacterial problems, SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth issues, sugars, etc. Just staying away from these kinds of foods can make a huge difference. Use a good probiotic supplement. Get on fermented foods. Use the Beyond Organic cheese. Use the Beyond Organic Suaro V or, or, uh, or Amasai if you have fibromyalgia or you have any health issue. Get on the Z Radical. It's amazing for coating the digestive tract. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lots more to say about fibromyalgia and keeping your body healthy without doctors, without drugs, without devices, without surgeries. 
We'll do that when we come back from our break. the bright side. Thank you for joining us. Pharmacist Ben here. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive page at brightsideben.com. You can also search all the programs by going to benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up. If you want to contact me by email, send an email to ben at ksco.com. Make sure you put your phone number on there so I can get back to you by phone and get lots and lots of emails. There's no way I can respond to everybody in writing. But if you put your phone number in there, the odds are pretty good. The odds are much better that I'll get back to you. And if I've missed you, uh, feel free to send in a second or even a third email. Put in the subject heading second or third uh, second or third um, uh, second or third attempt, and I'll uh, put you at the front of the line. And I apologize for not getting back to you. I try to get back to as many people as I can. I really, really, really want to give you personal, uh, uh, personal kinds of help, uh, personal advice if I can. I can't always do it, but I try. So if I missed you, feel free send, to send out a second or third or fourth email even and put that on the, in the subject heading. Okay, our number is 855-660-4261. If you're interested in getting on an email list for... Uh, to be advised of posts for our skincare videos that I'm doing with my friend Amanda, Amanda Rideout, health coach. Uh, send an email to ben at ksco.com. And our number today on the bright side is 855-660-4261. We'll get your calls here in our next segment. Okay, so if you have liver issues or if you have fibromyalgia, if you have this kind of diffuse achiness all over your body, first things first. Work on the digestive system. The liver is prim uh, liver does lots of things, but it's primarily a digestive organ. It filters food, it filters poisons that come in from food. It filters filter, uh, uh, detoxifies poisons that come in through drugs. It detoxifies poisons that come in through in the form of food additives. It's responsible for helping us metabolize sugar. All of these types of functions uh, can overload the overload the liver, overload the system. So if you're dealing with some kind of overload, if you're dealing with toxicity in the blood, secondary to some kind of overload, number one, focus on digestive health. As always, stay away from problem foods. Use a good probiotic supplement like the Biolumin Nightly Essence. Use fermented foods like the Bi Beyond Organics. Get on the Z-Radical, Ultimate Enzymes, less than pretty much anything you could think of for uh, for supporting digestive health. Lecithin is awesome, by the way. Wonderful, amazing supplement for helping with uh, digestive problems, especially liver digestive problems, because it's important for helping us process fats. You can use extra bile salts. You can take choline. Lots of things you could do. The Healthy Star Pack, of course, is important just for your basic nutrients, your Mighty 90 nutrients. Magnesium is important for the liver. In fact, magnesium is one of the go-to naturopathic remedies for dealing with fibromyalgia, magnesium, and malic acid, but you don't want to necessarily think of using magnesium to treat your illness as much as you want to think of magnesium as being one of the essential mighty 90 nutrients that everybody needs and that most people don't get anywhere near enough of. You'll find magnesium in green leafy vegetables. The greener a vegetable is, by the way, the more likely it is to have a good dose of magnesium, like kale, broccoli. Uh, wheatgrass, these are all wonderful sources of magnesium. The B vitamins are important for fibromyalgia, diffuse muscle pain for liver health, same with the essential fatty acids. Basically, fibromyalgia is simply a body that's not healthy, the manifestation of symptoms in a body that's not healthy. The opposite of any disease is a healthy body. The opposite of cancer is a healthy body. The opposite of acne is a healthy body. The opposite of arthritis, the opposite of heart disease, the opposite of, of gout, the opposite of dandruff, the opposite of name your disease is a healthy body. The opposite of fibromyalgia is a healthy body. That means the way to deal with fibromyalgia or any kind of degenerative disease or health issue is to first of all strip it of its Latin diagnosis, strip it of its term, its, its nomenclature, its, its diagnosis, and simply regard it as the manifestation of an unhealthy body. And obviously the opposite of an unhealthy body is a healthy body. 
Do you think you have fibromyalgia? No. You have an un unhealthy body. Do you think you have uh, alopecia areata? No. You have an unhealthy body. Do you think you have multiple sclerosis or, or uh, super uh, hydrodentitis superintiva or, or any of the 12,800 different diagnoses that you can get billed for according to the World Health Organization? No. You got an unhealthy body. And this simplifies everything. The, the medical model wants us running two and fro, hither and thither, and this organ, and that organ, and this symptom, and that symptom, and this diagnostic, and that diagnostic, and lowering this level, and raising that level, well, you go nuts. You go crazy. And the sicker you are, the more degenerative crises you have, the crazier you're going to get. Cut to the chase. Break it down. You got an unhealthy body. Simple as that. How do you take care of an unhealthy body? You reverse it, and you make it a healthy body. How do you take care of your illness? You make the body healthy. It doesn't matter what the label is. It doesn't matter what the diagnosis that the medical model has given your particular flavor of health challenge. It doesn't matter where the illness is. It matters that the illness is. Helping the body restore and maintain its health is the way you deal with fibromyalgia. You restore the body back to health, and that means focusing on digestion, focusing on blood sugar, eating less, eating more wisely, practicing deep breathing, and relaxing a lot. Hot tub therapy. The body loves to relax. It grows and thrives and repairs and anti-ages and fights cancer and bacteria and Lyme disease and, and detoxifies poisons, endotoxins from back to bad bacteria in the gut when it's relaxed. We talked to a guy uh, yesterday, Ori Hoffmeckler, love Ori's work, and he was talking about the importance of stress. And yes, stress is very important. The body thrives under conditions of a little bit of stress. This is what Ori didn't say yesterday. He said stress is important, and he's right. It's very helpful to be stressed a little bit. And not just a little bit, but intensely for a little bit. Quick bursts of intense stress. Not long-term chronic stress. Quick bursts short-term, intense stress, and then lots of luscious, delicious hot tub relaxation, naps. You know, we would love to work. You know what? People, for the most part, don't like to work. Don't, don't like to go to their jobs every day, I should say. Don't like to work at a job. That's because we don't want to work 40 hours. But if we only had to go to work an hour a day, or ha if we only had to go to work an hour a week, and we could rest the entire time, uh, rest of the time, we would love love that hour a week. We couldn't wait to go to work for an hour a week. If we only had to work an hour a week, and if we only had to work an hour a week intensely, well, they couldn't get us out of the office. If we only had to work an hour a week, because we don't, it's not like so much that we don't like work, we just don't want to do it all the time. And that's a reflection of how the body is. The body doesn't mind stress. It loves stress. It thrives under conditions of stress. It grows under conditions of stress, but a little bit of stress and a lot of rest and a lot of relaxation. Understanding how to rest and relax in our, our culture that treats rest and relaxation as an indulgence, it treats, it treats us as, as if we're lazy if we like to rest and relax. Understanding how to exploit rest and relaxation is super important. Important. Telling the body it's safe. Treating your body like it's a baby and telling your body, or your baby, that it's safe and that all is right in the world. Little bits of stress, lots of long, luscious rest. These are all things we can do ourselves, folks. And of course, you have to make sure that you're addressing all the dimensions of health, including the spiritual dimension, the mental and emotional dimensions as well. Okay, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. There's an interesting relationship between SIBO and gut bacteria and fibromyalgia and the hormone estrogen. And we'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. are back on the bright side. Our number is 855-660-4261. If you've got a health condition that you need help with, if you want to get off medication or help a loved one or a friend or family member get off their medication and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. If you have questions about formulations or ingredients, the longevity products, something you've read or heard, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, we would like to hear from you, 855-660-4261. Likewise, if you have questions about skin
skincare. I've been doing skincare for many years, formulated many, 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 many skincare products and helped a lot of people reverse skincare issues, skin health issues. If you have questions about skin health or skincare, 855-660-4261 is our call-in number today, and we do have lines open for you. Speaking of skincare, uh, I've been doing some skincare videos with my friend Amanda, uh, and we just did one on puffy eyes. If you have puffiness under the eyes, you should know, by the way, that's not a skin problem. We talked about it uh, on uh, on our skincare videos, but it's not a skin problem, puffiness under the eyes. And nothing ticks me off more than people trying to sell us products that we don't need and that don't work and don't even make any sense. So if you're trying to use a product around your eyes, if some rip-off company is trying to sell you a product to put under your eyes for puffiness under the eyes or for color changes on your eyes, you should know that puffiness under the eyes and color darkening under the eyes is not a skin issue. It's not even on the skin. It's in the circulatory system underneath the skin. And you, 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 can, you know your skincare company is taking advantage of you if they're selling you a product to rub under your eyes that are supposed to take care of your, your darkening under your eyes or, or uh, puffiness under the eyes. Those are circulatory issues. And they're also very important issues because they're telling you something's wrong in the circulatory system. So not only is it nasty and predatory for a company to sell you a product uh, to, uh, uh, to put rub under your eyes for, for puffiness or for color changes, but even worse, it's a diversion. It takes us away from where the problem really is, which is in the liver, in the circulatory system, in the blood vessels, in the heart, and these are all major, major health issues. So puffiness under the eye should be regarded as a harbinger uh, uh, of future problems, worse problems, or as an indicator that something is percolating underneath in the body, in the circulatory system, in the immune system that needs to be addressed. Anyway, we talked about that uh, on our last video. If you're interested in getting on the list or if you're interested in getting that video, you can send me an email, Ben at ksco.com, and we'll get you on the list. Okay, 855-660-4261 is our number. Let's go to California and welcome Sue to the Bright Side. What's up, Sue? How are you doing this Hi. morning? I'm doing great, Ben. How are you? I'm calling for my brother. Okay. Um, he has sent me some <laughs> disturbing pictures of what his gout looks like. Oh, I've no. never seen anybody with gout before. His anyway, toe? Um, Was it his big toe? Or, it's his big toe and his toe next to it, and it's like red with green with purple. Oh, and, my goodness. And the That's... two toes look like they like somebody smashed them, and they're like all full of blood. Oh, and my God. And they're very, very painful. It that sounds like a really bad case of gout. I've, I've never seen that either. How, long, how old is your brother? Um, he's 54. Okie dokie. Well, here's the deal with gout. Nobody just has gout. Okay. Gout, gout is an indicator of a body in major, major distress, specifically chemistry stress that involves sugar and something called uric acid. Now, if you go to the doctor, even if you go to a naturopath or some alternative health practitioner, they'll tell you about uric acid and they'll tell you about staying away from certain foods that are purine foods and they'll name cheese and meat and beer. And indeed, gout is known as the rich man's disease. Not so much these days. You don't have to be rich to have it, but back in the day, uh, only kings and royalty and people who ate very heavy, rich foods got gout. Well, here's the deal with gout. You want to treat it. It's called, by the way, it's not the technical name for gout, is gouty arthritis. It's a form of arthritis. It's a form of joint inflammation. Anytime you have inflammation, you have an activated immune system. In this case, the immune system is, uh, is reacting against crystals that are being formed in response to our favorite whipping boy on this program anyway, and that is sugar. Elevated uric acid and elevated blood sugar, especially, by the way, fructose, fruit sugar, is the big problem. So what you want to do is you want to treat gout as if, it's a di as if it's prediabetes or even diabetes. So, by the way, your brother, your 54-year-old brother, yes. did he, has he gained weight in the last maybe 10, 15, 20 years since he was in He's gone up and down in weight, yes. Is he heavier now than he was when he was in his 30s and 40s? Uh, no, he's actually gotten thinner but um, right now, but he did have a big weight gain for a while. Oh, so he went on a diet or something? He started to yeah. focus on something? Yeah, okay. he did. Yeah, he tried to get rid of the weight. Okay, good. Well, then he's on the right track. So, for, okay. so he wants to regard the gout as a, as a sign that his blood sugar is starting to, starting to uh, his uh, blood sugar control is starting to become compromised. So number one, first and foremost, wean yourself off of blood sugar spiking foods, especially fructose, fruit sugar. That okay. means fruit juice and, 
is he a fruit eater, fruit juice kind of person? Yeah. It's a lot, okay, uh-huh. so, so wean him off of that uh, fr- uh, fructose type of sugar. A lot of times people think that fruit sugar is somehow good for you, better for you. Honey, by the way, is a rich source of fructose, and it's not a better sweetener than sh- – well, I shouldn't say that. It's, it's still got problems associated with it. It probably is better than straight sugar because you get some nutrition with it, but you still have to be careful with that. Use the sweeties. Use the B-complex that you'll get from the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Have him, have him sip on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. And one of the best ways, as I'm sure you've heard me say before, one of the best ways to wean yourself off of these fast-burning carbohydrates and sugars is to get into eating more protein. Now, with gout, he's going to have to watch out for meat protein and fish protein, but he should be okay with whey protein as long as he doesn't have a digestive problem and egg protein. These are okay. very important building proteins and living proteins. Now, again, he has to make sure he's not reacting in a digestive fashion, uh, so he's not bloating or has, doesn't have any gas problems or any heartburn problems after he, eat, after he uh, does his whey protein and his egg protein, but those are going to be w- uh, nice, easy ways to wean himself away from, from the sugary, bready kinds of foods, starchy kinds of foods. Then you want to make sure that you're using the, uh, 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 the basic digestive support uh, and the Mighty 90. The basic digestive support would be the Biolumin Nightly Essence and then linking digestive, uh, any kind of digestive symptomology to food and then eliminating those foods. The Z-radical, very, very helpful for the digestive system, and, of course, digestive enzymes and apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar, in particular, can have some really interesting benefits for gout because of its, uh, because of its blood sugar control benefits. This is a very interesting... Apple cider vinegar is very, very interesting stuff. We talk about it all the time on this program in terms of its importance for the digestive system, for helping uh, acidify or lower the pH of the, of the stomach and the digestive juices, but apple cider vinegar it's got multiple benefits, and one of the really important benefits for apple cider vinegar is for stabilizing blood sugar. So using apple cider vinegar before you go to bed and using apple cider vinegar with your meals can not only help you digest your food, taking it after meals, but it can also help stabilize your blood sugar if you take it before you go to bed. Uh, if he's not taking his blood sugar, uh, he can just maybe just take, drink a lot of water first thing in the morning. That's a really good way to dilute blood sugar. First thing in the morning when we wake up, especially if we've gone to the bathroom once or twice, or three times in the middle of the night, our, our uh, blood tends to be very dense with sugar. Our blood sugar concentration is much higher first thing in the morning, and that can throw off blood sugar. So drinking, uh, drinking, uh, uh, diluting the, uh, drinking water to dilute the sugar can be important. Doing it first thing in the morning, of course. If you drink water first thing in the morning, that will also fill you up a little bit. You won't have, you'll have a tendency to eat less breakfast food, uh, less breakfast or less calories at breakfast, and you'll also get a little bit of energy if you drink cold water first thing in the morning. So that's another good strategy for you. So long story short, for treating gout, you want to regard it as an arthritis condition. You want to regard it as a metabolic chemistry condition, and you want to regard it as a blood sugar problem. Problem. Work on the digestive system, work on the blood sugar, uh, uh, wean yourself off of the sweet foods and, and stabilizing your blood sugar with nutritional supplements. That's how you take care of gout. And thank you so much for your call, Sue, from California. Really appreciate it. Have yourself a beautiful, wonderful day. Okay, 855 660 4261 is our number. If you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. got a letter from Susan. She says, uh, Hi, Ben. I have a friend who's recently been diagnosed with high blood pressure. I don't think she's gone on medication as of yet. She's asked me information but hasn't taken the step of taking the longevity products. She's recently had a blood test, and it came back that her blood calcium is where it should be. That's the information they gave her. She wants to know if I could ask Dr. Glidden or Dr. Wallach this. I've heard that you can still have normal blood calcium and not be taking in as much as your body needs. I need the answer for her. Yes, she needs to take more, even though her blood work came back. Okay, here's the deal. First of all, I'm glad I'm, I'm third on your list after Dr. Wallach and Dr. Glidden. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway, if you can't get a hold of Dr. Wallach and Dr. Glidden, I'm here for you. So anyway, here's the deal with high blood pressure, okay? High blood pressure hypertension is a manifestation of a body that's screaming for help. It's one of the ways that the body protects itself or or gives the the body the energy to take care of a stressful situation. You want to regard high blood pressure as simply a sign of an activated 
stress nervous system, sympathetic nervous system. And that means activate the relaxation response through deep breathing. That's the first thing you want to do for hypertension or high blood pressure. And you can test this out yourself. I know you guys have heard me say this before. You know, in case Susan hasn't heard this, you sit down and you do your deep breathing techniques. Take your blood pressure at a baseline level, do deep breathing, take your blood pressure again, and watch what happens. Now, your blood pressure will obviously go back up if you don't continuously deep breathe, but this will give you an indicator of how important the stress response is when it comes to high blood pressure. So relaxing the body, all the ways you know how to relax the body, a massage, a hot bath or a hot shower, deep breathing, all of these are wonderful ways to lower blood pressure. And then there's nutritional supplements. When the body doesn't have the nutrients it needs, that's also interpreted as a stressor. So using magnesium, 2,000 milligrams a day, must have for hypertension and high blood pressure. The B-complex are your anti-stress vitamins, especially niacin, time-release niacin, very effective for lowering blood pressure. Time-release niacin, maybe 200 milligrams a day or so. You can go up to 500 milligrams a day. And then use your Beyond Tangy Tangerine throughout the day to make sure that you're getting all your B vitamins throughout the day. Vitamin C, major anti-stress vitamin, also very important for helping lower blood pressure, 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams a day, in addition to using the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, which has about 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C. Focusing on digestive health. After we eat anything, let alone a, a crappy meal, let alone a McDonald's hamburger type meal. By the way, did you guys catch how McDonald's is mystified why their sales keep dropping every year? Apparently, you Americans are getting the idea that McDonald's is not health food or not good food, and McDonald's is doing everything they can do to try to increase their sales. Uh, congratulations. At least we're starting to wake up a little bit, maybe, uh, to fast food. Of course, other fast food companies have not experienced these kinds of drops in sales. Anyway, uh, making sure you're eating correctly. When we eat the wrong kinds of food, this activates the stress response. When we eat sugar, this also activates the stress response. So if you have hypertension, and I've spoken to numerous people in the last, just in the last few weeks who have high blood pressure and can't seem to lower it, regard it as the manifestation of a body in distress. And one thing you never want to do, unless you have an emergency, is use a beta blocker drug or a calcium channel blocker drug or a nasty poisonous pharmaceutical remedy, supposedly, for lowering blood pressure. Not only are they going to suppress your heart, but they're going to cause even more blockages, which is one of the major problems with hypertension because the way calcium channel blockers work is they slow everything down. That means you're going to get even less blood flow and less oxygen to uh, tissues, especially tissues in the extremities. So focus on relaxing the body through good nutrition, Staying away from problem foods, the mighty 90 essential nutrients, laying off of sugar, uh, laying off of uh, insulin spiking and blood sugar spiking food, foods, and using deep breathing techniques. That's how you lower blood pressure without doctors and without drugs. Okay, 855-660-4261 is our number on the bright side. Edmund in Illinois, welcome. What's going on? Yeah, uh, uh, we just found out uh, that my wife is pregnant. And, uh, Congratulations. Uh, she's Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, she's taking the Ultima Classic. Good. And I want that Beyond Tangy Tangerine. She's Do taking it. a probiotic. Do it. I just want to know, are, are all these safe for her and the baby? Ab safe? They're not just safe. They're must-haves. What do you mean safe? They're not safe. They're well, absolutely, they're like air. Uh, BTT says, you know, if your wife is pregnant, consult physician or whatever. That's just, just, well, you know, if you, yes. What was your physician? What's he going to do? He's going to go, oh, harumph, harumph. Yes, no. What's he going to do? Think he knows? No, of yeah. course, you, you, you think he's going to know what, he doesn't even know what BTT is. He doesn't even know what the nutrients in there are probably, unless he's yeah. been studying his nutrition. Yes, the BTT is important if you're pregnant. All nutrition. By the way, Edmund, the first three months are the most important for developing a baby, uh, for growing a baby. This is where birth defects come in and, and so-called genetic disease diseases come in is when the mother is number one malnourished and number two stressed out. So if you're uh, if you're just found out you're pregnant or your wife just found out she's pregnant, have her get massages every day. You massage her every day. Massage her yeah. feet when she comes home. Make sure draw her a hot bath. Make sure she's completely relaxed. This is when the the genetic the, the this is when the core of the baby is being developed. The first cup the first trimester and the second trimester is really when the baby's future is being the 
future destiny is being controlled and being shaped. So have the mom relax, everything she could do to relax, have her making sure she's doing basic nutrients, especially the B-complex, the mineral iodine, um, um, essential fatty acids, especially fish and omega-3 fatty acids, and fish is a little bit of a problem, so you got to be careful with fish, but use fish oil perhaps and use the uh, ultimate EFAs from Longevity, and make sure your mom, uh, mom is getting enough protein, and the probiotics are great, but make sure she's staying away from problem foods, foods that cause any kind of bloating or or digestive discomfort. Yeah. And by the way, she vitamin B... CFS too, that she's dealing with, so... Well, that's a... CFS, did you say? Chronic fatigue? Yeah. Chronic yeah. fatigue? Okay, well, that's a little bit... That adds another wrinkle, so that has to be controlled. That's even more reason to give her a massage every day. Have her relaxing so she can... All her energy and all her resources can be shunted into building the baby. You know, the baby's going to get her, if the nutrients are scarce, the baby's going to get them first. She's going to get them last. So uh, making sure she's got enough nutrients is not only important for the baby, it's also important for her. Edmund, why don't you shoot me an email and put your phone number on there, ben at ksco.com, and I'll give you, I'll give you some uh, personal, I'll give you some personal coaching, okay? What's the Make email sure. address again? Ben at, ben, B-E-N at K-King, S-Sam, C-Cat, O-Oscar, dot com. Make sure you put your phone number on there, Okay. Okay. Okay, Edmund, thanks. God bless and congratulations too, man. Okay, Irene in California, welcome to the Bright Side. What's up? Hi. Uh, Hello. First of all, you helped me immensely with my adrenals. You had me take extra C and zinc, and it's nice. been fabulous. Oh, nice. Thank you so much I for know. sharing. Thank you. <laughs> but two things, like when I take the BTT, yeah. I get a little puffy in the face. Okay. And then the second thing is I tried Z-Radical about three weeks ago. I just yeah. about passed out when I took it. What do you I, mean? Well, tell me about well, that. I got so weak and When tired, you took the like, Z-Radical? Yeah. Never yeah, heard that like before. A, like a sugar overdose or something. Oh, there is sugar in it. Yes, ma'am. Try the capsules. Yeah, there is sugar. They put okay. this, It's very sweet. Try the capsules. There's no sugar in there. Or dilute the Z-Radical. Uh, cut it. Instead of doing a capsule, put a capsule in water and then drink the water. And that's another okay. strategy for you. It does have a jolt of sugar. Are you diabetic or any diabetes or anything like that? No. Well, you might have but some I blood did. sugar. Definitely have the blood sugar thing. I mean, yeah, you no might have the blood sugar thing, especially with the adrenals. Um, but I would dilute it and um, step number one or try the capsules number two. Now, the BTT puffiness, that's kind of interesting. That tells me you're not processing something. Minerals are probably not getting absorbed. Do you have a history of malabsorption or digestive problems or anything like that? Oh, yeah, I'm constantly constipated. Oh, okay. <laughs> then there you go. So yeah, sip on the BTT. Use it. Uh, uh, sip on it much more slowly. And okay. we uh, it's kind of div- get yourself to gradually to where the, to the uh, good dose. So you don't need to do one or two scoops a day. Do half a scoop or a quarter scoop. Do whatever you can do and then work yourself up to one or two scoops. You may not be absorbing or utilizing the, the uh, nutrients, which is a very important sign because it means you're not absorbing or, or nutrients from your, or utilizing nutrients from food as well. So really right. focus on absorption and uh, link your constipation issues to specific foods and then eliminate those foods. Also, there's some strategies that you can use for constipation, probiotics, probably most important, uh, and fermented foods for constipation. And magnesium is wonderful for helping clear everything out of your colon. Uh, You may want to grind up some fresh fiber every morning. That can be helpful for you. And then straight vitamin C, vitamin C in water, maybe a half a teaspoon or so in water can have a nice laxative or clearing out effect. Very, very important for women. Extremely important. Everybody, really, but especially for women, because toxic, cancer-causing, blood-clotting, heart disease-causing estrogen is cleared out of the out of the body in the bowels through bowel movements. So, if you're not having bowel movements and you're a woman, you're running much higher risks for breast cancer, uterine cancer, all kinds of estrogenic cancers, in addition to uh, blood clot issues and circulatory issues and and strokes, which are all linked to high levels of estrogen that's not getting cleared out, secondary to constipation. All right, thanks so much. For your call, Irene. Got to move. That's the end of our program, okay? God bless. Hope everything works out for you. And uh, that's all the time we have for today. If you're interested in getting uh, getting on the email list for our YouTube videos, our skincare videos, send me an email, ben at ksco.com. And if you're interested in making some money and joining the Brightside Ben team, call the phone team at 866-735-2470 for a one-time $10 fee. You can start yourself a longevity business and help me in my mission to educate the world about the importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.